Good morning, or depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and I've always told I had a voice radio, so today I'm going to give a quick look at two very, very unusual cards which have just been revealed in Japan. Now, as the title might suggest, these cards are very, very, very fun, very, very, very strange, and will no doubt become rather expensive promo cards. Let's see why it fits those descriptions. So, a little bit of a background, there is a Pokemon group called Susuki-san. I'm going to be honest, ladies and gentlemen, my pronunciation of Japanese words in this video might be atrocious. And it includes Imakuni, who you might remember from this ridiculous card from the Generation set, which was an old card in Japan which got reprinted and then we got it in Generations. It's a supporter that confuses your active Pokemon. It is hot garbage, however... He's part of a musical group, and they have a song which is translated as Let's Trade, Please. And it is a song about trading Pokemon cards. They have never performed live, but they are going to as part of a 20th anniversary celebration of Pokemon in Tokyo on October the 19th. And if you go, you will get these two cards. Why are they going to be so expensive? The event is limited to a 100 live spectators. They are the people that get given these two cards. That is ridiculous, ladies and gentlemen. There will be essentially a 100 of these cards, plus presumably some given out to people who staff the event. But you're talking maybe 150 of each of these cards in total. Add in a few that end up getting lost or broken or destroyed, etc. It takes a rare, rare promo card to only have a 100 versions. Let's take, for instance, I don't know, let, let's take a world promo card, for instance. You're going to have hundreds of people competing at Worlds, Add in a couple hundred staff, and of course, all the different age groups. And you're looking at maybe over a thousand of each of these. And that's just the English language ones, probably far more than that, to be honest. Having just a hundred and no reprint, whereas we see that, you know, Tropical Beat was printed twice and Champions Festival's been printed a billion times, these are going to be rare. The question is are they actually any good? Well, let's start off with a fun little supporter card, which is named after the band. You sing to one of their songs, their most famous song, which sounds a little bit like this. And while you're singing and dancing to that, you get to play a Pokemon card from your own hand and trade it with your active Pokemon. All damage, special conditions, effects are now on the new Pokemon. This is Redonk, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ninja Boy, but better. Because it's not just switching a basic for a basic, it's switching any Pokemon for any Pokemon. That is pretty awesome. I like this. Now, it doesn't say, the translation I've got at the moment doesn't say whether the energy is switched over or not. But either way, this is a very, very, very playable card. Because you can have a basic, play this supporter, and switch it for a stage two. Because it just says, play a Pokemon card from your hand. Again, with the translation I've currently got. Oh, I should mention that these two cards cannot be used in official events. They are still awesome, but unfortunately, they are not playable in events. Which is just as good, because Suzuki-san, Suzuki-san, uh, Suzuki-san, whatever it's called, however it's pronounced, and feel free to mock me in the comment section for my pronunciation. Going to be honest, had I practiced it before I started recording, it might have gone better, but I didn't. And it didn't. Awesome card. Really would be playable, but alas, it's not. We've also got a Mega Sachiko EX. And it's a fairy mega Pokemon, which is treated as a mega evolution, but doesn't actually have an EX. Making it pretty gosh darn unplayable. But let's go ahead and ignore that. For fairy energy... 
10 damage for every second you can say, ah, I think they're looking for a more musical, ah, but unfortunately they're not getting one from me. Now your opponent does count the duration while you're projecting your voice, which leads to two potential issues. Firstly, if this card sees a lot of play, it's going to be loud wherever you're playing. And secondly, if your opponent is a less savoury character, they might not count as honestly as they might. But I thought since this card is coming out, let's get a stopwatch rolling and we can see how long it would take to KO Pokemon of various hit points. And there's your Joltik. There goes Mr. Froakie. See you later, Vesper Quen. Ah, oh, too bad, Greninja. And that's Ivalton and lots of other EXs. There's Zygarde EX. There's your Mega Rayquaza. There's Waylord, the highest HP Pokemon we have. And there we get our Waylord with Fighting Fury Belt. 290 is the best we can have at the moment. Now, to be fair, four energy to essentially one-hit KO anything as long as you've got enough breath, that sounds actually moderately playable, although maybe slightly mean to anybody suffering any kind of illness which stops them singing for half a minute at a time. You can do it for half a minute, ladies and gentlemen. That is one-hit KOing everything. But, of course, we've got other things we can use here. Things like your Rayquaza for instance, or even using one of those Mega Charizard that can do 300 damage would be one option. Or indeed, like the video I showed you just the other day, we can use Gengar. Yes, I know these cards are not playable in tournaments, and yes, I know that they're a bit silly, but you know what? I thought they were kind of funky, and I thought it might be fun to do a video, and quite honestly, I think I was right, but there is a comment section, ladies and gentlemen. So, do you like videos like this, or would we rather stick to more playable cards? Let me know in the comments. Click that like button, because, you know, friendliness and all of that. Click that subscribe button. Get your mum and your dad and your brothers and your sisters to subscribe on your behalf. Maybe even a few friends. And, of course, follow me on Twitter, at the Wossy. But by far the most important thing, ladies and gentlemen, is to look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.